Hello everyone. I'm going to show you how to use the new Office Mix snipping tool um, from Microsoft to create a small video and then what you can do to share it out. So the first thing you want to do is go in and type in Office Mix in a search tab and I'm going to type in snip. So Office Mix snip or just Office Snip and it'll pull up the Office Mix page uh, that allows you to go right to snip and there's the address right there mix.office.com backslash snip if I click on that I can then go in and download this tool and it's free um, so I click on that go through the downloading process and it's in my programs uh, if I click down here and search my programs and type in snip I'm gonna see my original snipping tool which is also right down here on my taskbar and the new one which is in black I can click this and use it but what I'm going to do is drag it to my taskbar. So it's always down here on this bottom pane. So whenever I need it, I can just click on that. So the way I do it is I left click and hold on the mouse. And I can now drag it. And I'm going to drop it down on the taskbar. So there it is whenever I need it. So I'll pull it up right now just so I can show you some features. And you'll see it's down in this bottom part. Um, the whiteboard is just a blank whiteboard. And you'll see all the tools up top here are labeled. And if you don't have that, these three dots here will let you either cover the labels or not. Um, but I have a pen that I can write on. Uh, I have a highlighter that I can then highlight over. Um, I can change the thickness. I can erase uh, specific lines or I can erase the whole thing. And then I can also do uh, a copy image. So if I draw something on here, I can now copy that and send that as an image so I can Im put it into a word document or emails or whatnot um, what we are going to do is uh, take a look at the record feature and I want to do this using a capture so another possibility is to use this capture tool and what I'll do is I'm gonna go into my Google Drive here and I'm gonna snip uh, a capture of a problem because I might do this to make a quick video to read a problem so if my students are doing stations um, they can then listen to the problem and watch me annotate, but then they can solve it on their own. So uh, I'm going to want to use a highlighter here, and the only color you can use is yellow, but I can now record. That's the new part of the SNP tool. I can record what I'm doing, and I can talk as I go. So I'm going to record a quick video of just me uh, pretty much highlighting the whole question and reading it just so you can have an idea of what this looks like. So here we go. Problem one. Pencils come 12 to a package. Shane gives some pencils to his friends. Now he has seven left. How many pencils did he give away? So I have a 13 second video here and you can see the time up here. You can see the microphone down here and it's picking up what I'm talking. So if you don't see that moving, it means you don't have a microphone hooked up. Um, but I can continue recording on this to make this video longer if I want. But once I'm finished, I just hit stop. And it's going to give me some options here. And I do have some options up top. If I click play, it's going to allow me to watch it and make sure it's good. So if I click play. Problem one. Pencils come 12 to a pack. So you can see that I could watch the whole video there. Um, I could redo the video if I don't like it. I could delete the whole thing. I could send it to Facebook. I can send it to my Microsoft OneNote. I can copy the video and send it. If I click email, it's going to pull up my email and put it right into an email. And I want to show you this feature. Um, if I want to email this right out, here it is. So if I send it to somebody, they just have to click on that link and they're going to be able to see it. Um, I can embed or get an, an, a link that will allow me to embed this into something like Schoology, which means it won't take me to another website. It'll embed the video right into Schoology so the kids can watch it right in Schoology. And then the last thing is to get a shareable link. So just the link, it'll copy it to your clipboard that you can then share where people can go view it. The other feature that I really like with this is if anyone is using a YouTube channel, I can click save up here and I can save it as an MP4 video. So if I do sample, it's gonna go right to my desktop. So I have an actual copy of this video that I could then play and it's right here or I could share it so if you use YouTube um, 
I'm signed into my YouTube account right here. Uh, I can click on this, upload. And now, since I have the video saved, I can just drag and drop it, and it's currently uploading into my YouTube account. The good part about this, I click publish, and it's already public, or I can take this uh, URL, and now I can post that or create a QR code, um, or I can put it into uh, Schoology, or I can share it out. It's completely up to you how you want to do this. So that allows the option of putting it to a YouTube channel so you can uh, check in on the progress and see the number of views for it. Um, the very last piece of the SNP tool is the camera piece right here. If you click on that, it's gonna access your web camera so you can then take pictures, uh, whether it be of yourself, of somebody else, or of something else, like a document that you have on paper. And the last one right down here is the library. Once you start SNP, you can click to view your library at any point. And you'll see I have a bunch of them in here, but here's the one I just made. So I can double click that and I can pull it up. And what I can do now is I can get the link from it or I can do any of those options I had before. So Office Mix, um, including the SNP tool, save online for you. So you always have access to that library. Um, hope this helps and thanks for watching.